Hey guys, what's going on? Ross McCullough here, AKA Carolina Realtor Ross with Real Broker, working the Lake Norman area of Charlotte. Mid-April, I've got jet skiers uh, zooming around behind me, making the dock move a little bit, but absolutely love it. Uh, gosh, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Today, we are going to do a vlog tour, get out and show you in person my favorite lake access neighborhood, uh, in Mooresville and basically around Lake Norman as a whole that is Harbor at the point Absolutely beautiful over there I'm gonna show you my pros and cons with Harbor at the point and see if it might be the right neighborhood for you So without further ado, let's head on over there and check it out All right, everybody we are back and we are starting our tour of Harbor at the point so I'm gonna point out a couple of things right now what is behind me is Brawley School Road. Brawley School Road goes down the entire, as I'm putting my hand over here, the entire Brawley Peninsula all the way down and well into Lake Norman. What it does is brings you down to the point. Now, Harbor at the point is at the exact beginning of the point itself. So what you'll see right behind me here is Harbor at the point. Right across the street is the first neighborhood that uh, that is in the point and makes up the point or Trump National Golf Club Charlotte so the difference there if you live across the street in that neighborhood you are paying minimal required dues to be a social member of Trump National whereas over here at Harbor at the point you are not completely separate so don't have to pay uh, anything as far as being in the point or Trump National however what you do have is the ability to join, okay? So anybody can join Trump National. So if you'd like to do so and potentially not uh, incur those required fees and costs, this is where you need to be. That's one of my top reasons why this is my favorite lake access neighborhood in Lake Norman. So another thing that's going on behind me here as I begin to walk in, over there is the fourth green of Trump National Charlotte. So. The golf course is literally right there uh, as we enter the, the neighborhood itself. So, um, I mean, absolutely love it. Right? It's one of my favorite golf courses, uh, especially in the area and potentially in the country. Just some phenomenal views. So, uh, just a gorgeous place to be. And we're going to get in there and check out the neighborhood now. Let's do it. All right, guys, so as we make our way into the neighborhood itself, first of all, uh, you can probably see my special assistant today. Uh, again, Ross McCullough here, a.k.a. Carolina Realtor Ross, with my special assistant, Aria McCullough. So we got daddy duty today while we're out uh, filming. That is what happens when spring break happens and we don't go anywhere. So anyway, um, with that said, uh, I want to talk about your visits to my channel. They mean everything to me, and I hope you get a lot out of them. That is why I want you to like the videos, subscribe to my channel so that you are updated anytime that I put out a new video, and definitely hit that notification bell. Uh, if you've got any family, friends coming to the area, share it with them, share the videos with them. I want everybody to see, I wanna be a source of information uh, so that you can make an informed move and be sure that you are finding the right location for you, your family, whatever the reason may be. So reach out to me, days, nights, weekends, doesn't matter to me. That's what I'm here for. It's what I love to do. I absolutely love when I get uh, phone calls, uh, texts, when I see the smoke signals come up with my name on it. That is what we're, uh, what I'm here for. So uh, let's get after this. All right, guys, we are here at our first stop in the neighborhood, and that is, of course, the all-important amenity center. Uh, behind me, you can, well, you can't really see the pool, but we are here at uh, the tennis courts, and of course, they have uh, been upfitted as well to accommodate pickleball. Well, I will show you that momentarily. So we've got some uh, pickleball courts uh, as well as tennis courts right up here. Um, just down below me here, we've got a beach volleyball court, a basketball court, and then the swimming pool that will open up uh, right around Memorial Day weekend and close. Not at Labor Day weekend, probably you're uh, gonna say open a little bit later than that. Uh, typically these neighborhoods will have a swim at your own risk for a little while, and that is what this one will have. All right, so behind me again, beach volleyball and our basketball court right here. 
We are coming upon the playground for the kiddos. We've got some swings. We've got the jungle gym, everything that uh, the kids need to have fun uh, with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, um, whomever. And then of course, we've got our clubhouse and pool right here, beautiful facility. Now, of course, you can't help but notice uh, behind us is beautiful Lake Norman and the deeded boat slips uh, that essentially almost every home in here uh, comes with one and has access to the lake, direct access. Now, along the lake as well, this neighborhood has a wonderful mixture of waterfront homes as well as deeded slips. So um, we're going to show you that on the map right now off to the side. So give you a good overview of Harbor at the Point from Google Earth and uh, let you see what it is that uh, that I'm talking about right now. But let's head over and check out the docks. All right, we are making our way down to the docks. As we do, I will point out a couple of things. One, um, right behind me here, we do have a community boat ramp. So when you decide to call Lake Norman home and you make your home here in Harbor at the Point, don't have to go to a public boat launch to get it in the water. You can do so right here and make your way to your deeded boat slip. Now off to my side as we make our way down to boat slips. We do have some kayak storage for the homeowners as well. Now there are hundreds of boat slips and dozens of docks here that make up all of the deeded lake access in this community. So I'll give you an idea of that here in just a moment. There's several down there behind me as we head into the inlet. There's more behind me this way. And I'll show you even more on uh, Google Earth as well. We'll check it out. But what I love about it down here is it's just so quiet, serene, easy to access. Um, if you're not familiar with deeded boat slip access, uh, obviously what that means is that it it comes with the home. Um, it conveys with the purchase of real property and you can do with these slips uh, as you see fit. So some you will see have nothing. So you pull your boat up, you can tie it up. One right here, they've got a jet ski. So what they've done is just put a jet ski ramp in place and they're good to go. Now, behind me over here, we've got a couple of boats, and in fact, multiple on this dock, that have put in place uh, boat lifts to get their boats up and out of the water. So, uh, again, that is your choice. Um, you own it. You can relatively do what you see fit. Now, to a certain point, of course, you can't come build yourself a little boathouse. That is not allowed, but you can uh, do... Uh, to a degree, what, what you need to. Here's a great example of the last remaining thing, nothing. So we've got a boat in the water. Now, obviously they're using that. I can see the little troller for some fishing, but here we are. So uh, with Harbor at the Point being right next to the point, the homes on the other side of the water are a part of the point itself. So those homes have different requirements, uh, one of which being they are not allowed to have covered docks. That is not allowed in the point. So that is why you just won't see that. You're going to see beautiful docks, but none of them have uh, roofs or uh, an upper deck to, to uh, relax in the sun. So just an interesting point about the point. Um, not exactly sure why, but that is what they've decided. So. All right, as I've mentioned, it is not even mid-April yet. Uh, you can see me in my shorts. We are out here on a 75 degree day. Last week, got up into the 80s, and then we had a uh, kind of a crazy cold rain front uh, come through last week. Um, if you're a golf fan, you watch the Masters, and it was nasty on Friday and Saturday. That is what we dealt with as well. Now, what I want to talk about is uh, one other thing. So in a neighborhood such as this with deeded boat, deeded boat slips and deeded lake access, you are going to have two HOA fees. One will cover your standard HOA, which is going to cover the pool. It's going to cover some um, 
community area maintenance. Your second will cover the deeded docks, deeded slips themselves. So um, here is a good idea of what I'm talking about. So any repairs that need to be made to the docks, to the ramps, um, will be done so out of the funds that are brought in from the, the uh, secondary HOA fee. Now, um, we're gonna come out here, check out the end of this dock. And what you can see right over here behind me, we've got uh, one of the first homes on the water, at least that we can see right here in Harbor at the Point. So right adjacent to the deeded slips, we have a private dock and private slip. Um, and then we will get out here in about three slips and we will be no more than probably a five minute slow boat ride um, in some no wake access area out to the main channel. So that is everything right behind me here. Absolutely beautiful, love it. Um, but what you also see behind me, it's very difficult to point out, but there is a mixture of private docks and um, docks such as these, the deeded docks. So um, we're gonna show you one. I'll show you one of those, uh, as well as a tour of a home that just went under contract a, about uh, two weeks ago here in the neighborhood, give you an idea. Now the homes in here were primarily built in the mid to late 90s. So um, the good part about that, in fact, I'll cover that in uh, just a few moments once we get out into the neighborhood itself. Wow, we got some kiddos swimming in the lake already. That is chilly in my humble opinion, but told you, it can be done. Uh, if you're a hearty soul and wanna get in the water, you can do so in mid-April or even early April. It's been a pretty warm winter. All right, let's get out and check out the, the neighborhood itself. All right, we are headed away from the amenity center and the majority of the deeded boat docks. Um, I will show you in uh, a couple of methods that there are deeded docks located elsewhere in the community as well. Um, and they are super cool. Uh, and I'll show you why. They have essentially private access behind your house. so. Houses that uh, back up to one another, there's plenty of space, and what separates that space is the sidewalk that takes you out to the deeded slips. So you essentially can pack up your cooler and water toys for the day, head down the sidewalk, and onto your boat. It's uh, so cool. But as we drive through the neighborhood, I um, want to talk about the majority of the homes. So the neighborhood was... Uh, essentially started in the mid 90s so what you're going to see are homes that model that style so you're going to see some some all brick some front brick with some either hardy board or some type of uh, fiber cement siding um, the interiors now this is a bonus the fact that they're about 30 years old or approaching 30 years old means that um a howdy neighbor um, a, like that home there, I can tell, brand new roof. So basically all of the roofs have been replaced um, no later than probably a couple of years ago um, or even this past year. Uh, inside, you're gonna see interior updates. Um, you're going to see modern and updated fixtures, appliances, um, countertops. That is, that's the good thing. People hear of 20 to 30 year old homes, they wanna get into something newer. The great thing about it is, these property owners likely know that in order to sell, they would have had to have made those updates. So you're gonna see those updates in the homes already. Another thing that I love about neighborhoods like this, any new construction neighborhood that you see right now, some even in higher price points, they have cleared out all of the trees and there is no green space and they have replanted a few trees to make it um, consistent throughout the neighborhood. 
what this has is the maturity of a neighborhood that is 20, 30 years old. Um, you're going to see tall, thick trees, um, nothing that's newly planted, which creates privacy. It creates uh, kind of that sanctuary that you're looking for when, when you come home after a long day or a long uh, work trip. All right, so we are going to check out another private sidewalk and I will show you this one a little bit more in depth as we do a home tour of a home that's about uh, two away from us right now. Um, did a home tour a couple of weeks ago. We're going to uh, show you that as well that has access to this sidewalk, give you an idea of just how close they are to to their uh, deeded boat slip. So right over here. So we've got that row of homes and that row of homes. And behind me, the yellow brick road down to the boat slip. So it's just that quick, that easy, and that private. Um, that's, that's such a cool feature to have uh, right in your own backyard, just to be able to walk out, head on down, jump in your boat. guys hope you enjoyed the quick tour of the home that is currently under contract in fact the only one in the neighborhood that is currently under contract um, that home listed for 1.125 million and sold with multiple offers in three days there is another home for sale in the neighborhood only one currently it is waterfront listed at 2.699 so anyway uh, over the past couple of years there have been 39 homes sold at an average or better yet median price point of 810,000 so give you a good idea of what homes will sell for in the neighborhood um, as far as HOA fees the main association fee is going to be $537 semi-annually and your doc fee your HOA number two fee is going to be $595 annually again that covers all of your deeded docs all right guys we are coming up on another great uh feature of this neighborhood and something you do see in many lake access neighborhoods around uh, lake norman but we have a private lot right up here accessible only by residents of the community for uh boat storage for rv storage for trailer storage so anything that you need to keep uh, will be behind these trees behind lock and key behind barbed wire gate fencing um so you know when it's summertime or wintertime for that matter if you want to take your boat out and put it in there 
you absolutely can. As you can see, many RVs, a lot of these homeowners likely retired or just like to get out and enjoy uh, the country. Um, so they leave their RVs in here and can have immediate quick access to them, uh, which is huge. All right, guys, so that wraps up our tour of Harbor at the Point. Hope you enjoyed uh, myself and my special assistant as we showed you around uh, my favorite lake access community on Lake Norman. Um, again, this community is going to start in the 700s and get upwards of two plus million dollars for the homes out on the water. We are right next to the point. Um, so if you want that country club lifestyle without every expense that typically comes with it living within the point and uh, utilizing Trump National Golf Club, you can do so. Um, we are also only about 10 minutes away up Brawley School Road, well, five minutes from uh, grocery shopping, from everything you need on a daily basis. Just a few more minutes and we've got all of your major chain stores, big box stores for you to get anything that you need. And again, if this is your first time to my channel or repeat visitor and you haven't subscribed yet, do so now. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment, please uh, answer or ask me any questions that you may have. Uh, definitely shoot me a phone call, text, email. Uh, I want to hear from you if you're thinking about moving to the Lake Norman area, whether that's in... Uh, one week, one month, one year, one decade. I don't care. I can set up a game plan for you and make sure that uh, we make that move as easy on you as possible. So uh, until next time, I'll see you on the next video.